Hello and welcome to video number seven in our series on using ChatGPT for research. In this video, we will be discussing how ChatGPT can be used to assist in the process of communicating and disseminating research results. As researchers, it is important to you effectively communicate and disseminate our findings to a wider audience. This includes writing research paper and reports, creating presentations and sharing research results through various channels and platforms. By communicating and disseminating our research, we can share our insights and contributions with the broader research community and potentially have a positive impact on the field. So how can ChatGPT help uh, us to communicate and disseminate our, uh, our research results? ChatGPT can assist in a variety of ways, including um, generating ideas for writing research paper and reports. ChatGPT can suggest language, structure, and formatting for, res for writing this uh, research paper and reports, helping you to clearly and concisely present your findings. We can also use ChatGPT to create engaging and informative presentation. ChatGPT can suggest ways to visually represent data and ideas, helping you to create presentations that are engaging and informative for your audience. Then we can also use ChatGPT to develop strategies for sharing research findings. ChatGPT can generate insights and recommendations for sharing uh, research findings with a wider audience including suggestions for platforms and channels to use and strategies for making research accessible and engaging. While ChatGPT can be a valuable tool for, communicate, for communicating and disseminating uh, research results, it is important to use it effectively. Here are some best practices for using ChatGPT to communicate and disseminate research results. Number one, be clear and specific with your prompts. Provide ChatGPT with clear and specific prompts to ensure that you receive relevant and useful suggestion. Then, number two, evaluate and revise ChatGPT suggestion. ChatGPT suggestion um, should be treated as starting points, not final product. To illustrate how ChatGPT can be used to communicate and disseminate research results, let's take a look at a specific example. Imagine you are a researcher who has recently conducted uh, a study on the effectiveness of different teaching methods for students with uh, learning disabilities. You have collected and analyzed your data, and now you want to share your findings with a wider audience. You decide to create a presentation to share your results at a conference. To create an engaging and informative presentation, you can use ChatGPT to suggest ways to visually represent, uh, represent your data and ideas. You might provide ChatGPT with prompts such as um, generate ideas for visualizing the data collected in my study on teaching methods for students with learning disabilities, or suggest ways to clearly and concisely present my findings on the, on the effectiveness of different teaching methods for students with learning disabilities. Based on those prompts, ChatGPT might suggest using graph, charts, or tables to visually represent your data and providing clear and concise summaries on your findings in the form of bullet points or infographics. In addition to visualizing your data and ideas, there are other strategies uh, you can use to make presentation accessible and engaging for your audience. ChatGPT can suggest ways to use language and terminology that is appropriate for your audience, use examples and anecdotes to illustrate your points, or engage your audience with interactive elements such as polls or even question and answer session. So in conclusion, ChatGPT can be a valuable tool for assisting in the process of communicating and disseminating research results by generating ideas for writing research paper and reports, creating engaging and informative presentation and developing strategies for sharing research findings. ChatGPT has the power to transform the way you communicate and disseminate your research. Remember to be clear and specific with your prompts, evaluate and revise ChatGPT suggestion and use best practices for language, style and formatting to ensure 
the effectiveness of your communication and dissemination efforts. So thank you very much for watching this video on our service on using ChatGPT for research. We hope you found this information uh, useful and are excited to continue exploring the many ways that ChatGPT can assist in the research process. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.